This is an example of O intervals or orientarian intervals. Just like with athletics or running intervals, the goal here is to go for a short distance at a very high speed. Here we've got an interval here of about 800 meters and then a short rest and then another 800 meters with a short rest and then another 800 meters. You can mix and match the distances and the number of intervals you'd like to do. But the principles of this exercise is to choose a very detailed area and set a course that's very technically challenging and will force the orienteer to simplify the map in order to maintain high speed. Let's have a look at the kind of simplification that we're expecting. We'll dive into number one and we'll have a look at ways that you can make number one really simple and ignore all of this crazy detail. A lot of it is unnecessary and distracting. All you need to notice on number one is that you've got this big depression behind, beside the control and the control is kind of on this ridge line and it's in a reentrant that is on the far side facing down that way. You could also notice that there's a clearing over here on the track and poss possibly use that as a reference off to the side. So just using those things you can get a compass bearing, you can get caught by the depression and you can run up and know that the control will be facing facing you. If you didn't notice those key things then you could pick up all these little features and you'd be really slow getting to the control. When we do these high speed intervals we're overdriving the speed and forcing your navigation to find ways to work things out um, without forcing you to slow down and read more. The way you do number two is to notice that there's a big slope. You'd want to use your compass to get the direction right up the slope so you go up the hill in the right place. And then just noticing there's a big depression and the control is a certain orientation from the depression. And boom, leg done. You don't have to read all of the overwhelming detail on the map. And so if those simplifications didn't jump out, didn't jump out at you first thing, then this is a really good exercise for you to do because it forces you to look at the map very critically and become very familiar with picking the things that are useful and ignoring the things that are not useful. It's hard to do this at a low speed because you begin to find things that you didn't, that weren't super critical, but you could still use them because you were just going at a slow speed and it was a lot easier. Whereas once you start to overdrive it, all the slow things, you don't even have time to look at them on the map. You can only pick up the big things. So if you're finding you can't go fast enough on these exercises, then try removing, uh, try shortening the intervals. Or if you find that you can only do two or three kilometers at this intensity, then don't do any more because you'll start practicing bad habits if you do six intervals that are all one kilometer long and the last two intervals are too long and you do them too slow, then you'll practice bad habits. So keep it um, short and sharp and really high quality.